Here we have my phone running Android 2.2 and we want to open our WhatsApp application over here. First thing first, it authenticates with Facebook, so you have a Facebook login screen where you click uh, login mm -hmm. and it will go into the main menu where you see all the choices the user has. Here let's say we display our meters, so it asks for the list of all the meters that we have. Um, if you have the read-write access to a certain meter, you have this edit icon right here, which you can click and then you can rename the meter or change its location, providing long longitude and latitude yourself or just selecting it on the map right here. Then you can also, let's come to the fun part, we can select several um, meters and then say generate a tree map. So what will happen, it will show you something like this, where this is a relative uh, energy consumption of those three meters. Here on top, you have a scroller where you can select the time interval from which you can select the data. So for instance, if I want to have only one week data, I'll uh, select that and it will give me, well, it looks exactly the same because relatively they look the same. But um, if we want more, it will go to more, etc., etc. And now what else you can do is you can select several uh, meters and say how about I look at on the graph. So uh, it'll generate a graph which right now looks messy. This is just a time series graph uh, to make it look prettier. How about this? We'll have only one week of data. Here you can also change the, uh, you can go to the settings and change the spinner control, the one that was on top, to the date picker, which is more like, uh, which looks like a calendar. We can, we can set the start date and the end date. So if you want, for instance, uh, to see even less data, uh, we can, for instance, go to last week or something and check on the, uh, this time period, which you see has even less data. So the whole thing runs over IPv6, uh, if IPv6 is available. So if you're on Wi-Fi and there's IPv6 address, then you run over IPv6. You can also use MDNS in order to, um, so in order to find the collectors which are in your local network, and then you can uh, connect to them and uh, access, request access uh, permissions, and then if you're granted access, you can view the meters there as well. And that's WhatsApp.